this weekend at the Cameron Art Museum in Wilmington. And Amanda Green joins us now with more on the significance of this work of art. And quilts are beautiful, but this one brings in a lot of people in the southeast. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, Wilmington Faith and Values, our, um, our local Cape Fear um, religion news source here, um, uh, on my interfaith events coordinator, Laura Frank, came up with this idea to really um, uh, represent, have a physical representation of our, um, our faith community, all different faiths and philosophies. And, uh, and that's what the Cape Fear Spirit Quilt is really all about. Well, each of the quilt blocks represents something. So we have the Jewish faith. Um, we've seen the Catholic Church there, St. Teresa. So tell us a little bit about some of the other faith-based groups that you have represented. We, we basically put out a general call to all uh, faith groups and, um, and philosophies in the Cape Fear region. And um, what we got back um, was a representation of all of the major groups that are here. We have um, quilt squares from Muslim groups. We have quilt squares from Hindu groups, um, Mormon groups, um, lots of different types of Christian groups um, uh, from Catholic, Evangelical um, uh, to non-denominational groups. Uh, we have... Um, you know, the, the spiritual but not religious contingent in there. We have our humanists and our atheists represented. Um, as it, you know, it, it's just a huge, huge spectrum of people uh, involved in this. We what? had in total 36 squares um, represented, and then I, I had to fill out the quilt for, with yeah. uh, four <laughs> in order to make it a, an even quilt. Well, it's going to um, be beautiful when it comes together because of all the colors and all of the different representations there. Um, but tomorrow you're going to be putting it together. Are you having a call out for people that can come and help you sew? Yes, indeed. Okay. And if you have needle and thread and can travel, we would love you to come to the Cameron Art Museum tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we're going to be having a Cape Fear Spirit Quilting Bee. Um, we have um, a, a group of um, Mormons, actually, in our community are um, bringing their big um, quilting frame, and we're going to be working together with, I'm hoping that a whole bunch of people will come who actually submitted quilt squares and will help us finish the art quilting on the quilt um, tomorrow, and then it'll be on exhibit um, at the Cameron Art Museum March 16th through the 17th. Well, as you said, if people have thread and a needle they need to stop by tomorrow it's a wonderful thing for people to do and a great way to get to know other people as well tomorrow it happens from 10 to 3 at the cameron art museum and that's on 17th street in wilmington it's free and open to the public but what a beautiful way to represent the port city and all of the southeast thank you so much amanda good luck with the quilt yes thank you so much and I was wondering if I could add one, one uh, bit of thank you. I wanted to thank all of the people who did submit their quilt squares for the Cape Fear Spirit quilt. And I also wanted to thank Fran's sewing circle because she's helping us do the, um, the binding on the finished quilts as well. Well, thank you. We can't wait to see the finished work. And that will be, once again, at the Cameron Art Museum. Thanks, Amanda. Today, hundreds